hosting an art contest. Woohoo! Yeah, I know, right? So fun. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be hosting an art contest because I know I think a lot of you wanted it. I'm not sure. I hope you did because I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> Um, I do want people to actually enter, so... Yeah, um, I, I've heard a lot of people ask for like 10 entries at least, so I think that's like a good number to be aiming for. So like, can we get 10 entries? Witty please. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what was that? Okay. Um, ignore the other tripod. That's my phone. I just need better audio and, um, I want it to be as close to me as possible. So we're just, yeah, just ignore that. So uh, the deadline of the art contest is going to be the 31st of May. So please get all your entries out before the 31st of May, just so there's a higher chance of me seeing them. Um, you can send them on my email, which I think is drawingwithnicolina at gmail.com. I'm pretty sure, but I'm going to put it up on screen anyway. So yeah, that's, that's the email. You can use the hashtag Nico400 if you want to post a video, you know. I know we're way past 400 subscribers by now, but like we're just gonna pretend that this is like a 400 sub special. Like, what else am I supposed to put in the hashtag though? Okay, time for the rules. Um, please be nice to people, cause like you know you should probably be nice to people, cause uh, be nice to people. I don't know. I feel like that's a humane thing to do. Be nice to everybody that enters. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. Yeah. Yeah. Also, no tracing or copying. Um, I feel like that's a pretty basic thing. Just don't trace or copy or anything because I don't want to be that person, but I have to be that person. Yeah, my get disqualified. Um, yeah, I don't want to be like, oh, you're going to get disqualified if you trace or copy, but like you're going to get disqualified if you continue to do blah, 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 you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, just don't trace or copy. It makes the artist feel very bad. If you have any sort of empathy, you would understand. Um, yeah, I don't know why there was a whole stigma behind like tracing and copying like a couple years back. It wasn't even that long ago. I just feel like everybody was talking about tracing and copying. Like there was this whole like drama thing going on. It's like, oh my God, is it good? Is it bad? Well, like, it's very simple. If you don't understand yet, just don't trace or copy and like claim it as your own, especially not online because it's just not nice. Uh, you can trace and copy for your own personal studies and like improvement. Just, just don't upload it online and claim it as your own. It's that simple. And if you do make like a study of an artist's work, um, credit them. And um, if you're gonna upload it in general, just like ask them for permission first, unless they're dead. But yeah, I had to clear that up because it's very basic, but I just still, so. No not safe for work, please. Just keep it PG clean. Let's keep it family friendly because I just don't, you know, no horror or violence or any triggering topics. Uh-huh. Um, no, like, inappropriate things. This community is very wholesome, but I feel like I just have to say it just for the sake of saying it. So, uh, I don't know why I keep doing thumbs up, but yeah. And of course, have fun. Um, art contests are supposed to be fun, so have fun because that's kind of the whole point. Yeah, and also be creative because um, it kind of ties in the whole prompt. So I want you to be very creative with this. Don't don't be afraid to kind of I don't know break outside your comfort zone and push the boundaries. I don't know, just be creative. Any medium works, you can use traditional or digital art, and you can use like gouache and watercolors and inks and markers and colored pencils and all that good stuff. Express yourself. Um, you can use like, I don't know, scrap paper and like other things and materials and yeah. Stop doing thumbs ups. Or I will literally smack myself. Ah. I'm going to be determining the winners, um, not by like first place, second place, third place, because I feel like I'm putting people on pedestals that way and I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna straight up copy what Sage did because I feel like it was very good. I don't know if she took that idea from someone else. I don't know if this is like something that a lot of people do, but I saw it first from Sage's sketchbook. You can go check her out. She's amazing and um, very, very sweet. But um, she did this, so I'm just gonna straight up steal it. I hope that's okay with you, Sage. There will be um, a winner of best, interpreted, best interpretation of the prompt, which is basically just like the person who interpreted the prompt 
the best if you know what I mean um and then there will also be a most creative because again I feel like that fits the prompt that you're about to hear very soon very well and creativity I think is very important here because I'm not going to be judging by your skill level or how good you are as an artist um it's very much but creativity and also there will be my personal favorite again just straight up copying sage but I just think it it, it worked well so yeah also be honorable mentions of course um I'm probably gonna do three Three. I'm probably going to do three. Finally, the prizes. Um, so for my personal favorite, I will be doing a free bust commission, bust and up, which is basically like waist and up. At least that's how I understand it. Um, I'm gonna try and keep it, you know, pretty simple. Like, don't ask for something too complicated, because you know, I I don't have that much time. I don't have that much free time hands if you know what i mean but i'm gonna do my best obviously um preferably it could be a girl if you want the best results i would tell you to ask for a girl also it'd make my life a lot easier but if you want a guy i can try <laughs> um i definitely i'm gonna practice okay i'm gonna practice drawing guys and i'm gonna draw jason a ton which is an oc of mine i still have to figure out what he actually looks like i keep like changing his hairstyle so i guess that'll be good practice so if you do ask for a guy i guess you'll have like an upper hand in that kind of situation because you know you'll get my sort of practice drawing guy skills <laughs> um you also get a collab i'm still confused if i should give you the option to pick from a collab and a commission or just give you a collab and a commission i don't know if you don't have a channel then i'll just give you a free bust and up commission um, and obviously a shout out in my in the video and also um, if I haven't already like linked your channel to mine I'll link it to mine because I already have so many art channels linked to my channel I feel like it's honestly it, it'll be rare if yours isn't already on there like go to my channel page and just sort by other art channels you might like and you will literally see around 50 so yeah there's a lot in there uh, but yeah, I don't- I, I'll figure it out by the time the contest ends if I'm gonna be doing both or you have to pick. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll do my best. I'll try and do both. But, um, they won't be as good as quality. Um, you'll have to give me a little more time on that though because I'm trying to do like a, a commission and a collab, so yeah. Uh, for the most creative and the best interpretation of the prompt, uh, they will get a free headshot commission. So basically like neck and up or like shoulders and up. Um, and uh, again, preferably, again, preferably a girl, but like I'm not, yeah, at least like preferably a humanoid creature. That's, yeah, I can do an elf. I can do something else. As long as it has humanoid, human-like features, then I'll be good. <laughs> Just so you know. The commission will be in my doodly style, but I will put more effort into it because I'll have more time and I won't have to do like a collab and stuff. So even though it's going to be in this type of style, I'll put up that I'll put that up on screen. Um, it is more simple, but it takes just as much effort. So yeah. Um, and now finally, for the moment you've all been waiting for the prompt. Drum roll, please. Hold on, I I'm too lazy to do sound effects afterwards. So I'm just gonna do it myself, ready? Okay, that was the worst drum roll ever. I have, like, no rhythm. What the heck? <laughs> dream! Not the Minecraft YouTuber, by the way. My brother was very disappointed by that. But it's not the Minecraft YouTuber. It's the dream. It could be, like, a dream as in, oh, I've dreamed of this my whole life. Not literally, but, like, you know, I've dreamed of this. Or it could be a literal dream. Something that you think of at night. You think of at night. You know what I mean. A dream. <laughs> I think dreams are so fascinating. They just interest me so much, not because there's some deep meaning behind it or something. Like, yeah, I feel like there is some kind of correlation there. It's just interesting to see what your brain thinks of while it's basically like turned off, you know, while you're like conscious side, it just off. It's interesting to see what your subconscious thinks about. That's why it's so weird that one time I had a dream that 
giant Squidward was destroying a building that I was in, which where we were celebrating some kind of wedding thing, and I had a big poofy pink dress on, which I would never wear, by the way. I don't wear pink poofy princess dresses. I wear, like, floral cottage core dresses, but, like, you get the point. And then I was in a tiny bathroom, and the sink and the toilet were so close together, and my beautiful pink poofy princess dress was getting ruined, and the toilet water, and then all of a sudden just Squidward just breaks into the building and he's ginormous and he starts destroying the whole place and then I fly up and shoot through the ceiling and everything turns into Minecraft and all of a sudden there's another Squidward but he's a Minecraft version of Squidward and I look down and there's like this whole Minecraft world and I'm in creative or something I don't even play Minecraft what the heck sorry I'm still very confused of that dream but um apparently my subconscious is thinking about giant Squidward's destroying a building um in Minecraft I blame my brother for that. He talks way too much about Minecraft. But, um, <laughs> dreams fascinate me. And I have a whole, like, dream section in my notes where I write down dreams. I've been very lazy with that. I should do that again. I should really start writing down my dreams in there again. Because I'm like, oh, this one wasn't that interesting. I, I won't need to remember it. But then I'm like, oh, man, I really wish I wrote that down because I honestly want to remember it. Anyway, enough about me ranting about dreams. I want you to be very creative with this. You could either take inspiration from a dream that you've had or like a theme that has been present in a lot of your dreams. You can like analyze them. If you do have like a dream journal, you can like look in there and maybe try and like figure something out and like in get inspired or just literally draw a giant squidward destroying a building. If you know, you know what I mean, like literally draw your dream or you or do something inspired by a dream or a couple dreams of yours. Or you could just do something completely different you could just do like a dream, like not in the literal sense, you know, like, oh, I've dreamed of this moment in my whole life or something. Or you could do something inspired by dreams, like something really weird and like funky and like um, mystical and kind of trippy, maybe. That's what I kind of want to see. You know what I mean? Just be creative with it and have fun with it. I want to see some like really cool stuff, okay? Like, I don't know, some kind of wiggly background or like trippy things, like a weird perspective, maybe. And like, creatures and weird monsters and fairies and blah that's just my cup of tea that doesn't mean you have a higher chance of winning just because you do something like that does not mean you will win do something that you like wait i hope you enter i hope you have fun yes i know those squares are very wiggly i i should not have done that freehand whatever um <laughs> Also, before you go, I just want to give a huge thanks and shout out to everybody that entered my Draw This In Your Style. It's not over, by the way. There's no deadline. You can still enter whenever you want. It's just for fun. There's no winners or prizes or any of that stuff. Just because I wanted to... I wanted people to draw Olu. Okay, that's my... There, I said it. I just wanted people to draw my cute little mushroom girl, okay? I also made a pin on Pinterest and it got, I think, 100,000 views, which is a little bit insane when you think about it, but okay, we're gonna move past that. Um, a couple people also entered on Pinterest, like, added their own pin, you know? Yeah, thank you to everyone that drew Olu. It honestly makes my day. <laughs> She's basically famous now, so you know how it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, just... I don't know, um, that's why that video is so popular because I added like a link from the pin. So if you click on the pin, it immediately takes you to my video. So it immediately adds a view to my video. Yeah, I kind of hacked the system. <laughs> Still though, the light bounced out of Olu and went into 100,000 people's eyeballs. I'm a little bit shook and um, like, subscribe, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Drink water. I'm so dehydrated after every video. So I'm going to go drink water too. And uh, I don't know why I just, I started saying that in my videos now. Um, probably because I'm always so dehydrated after drinking water. And I feel like I have to say that to remind myself to drink water too. So there, it's a reminder for all of us. Oh my God, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of being energetic. Go drink water and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Ew, that was a really weird goodbye. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm too awkward for YouTube. Bye.